Hello uh, everyone. Today we are here to discuss coding decoding questions and variety of uh, such questions for design entrance exams for the year two, 2023. So if you are new to our channel, uh, please subscribe our channel. Uh, also follow us on Instagram and uh, subscribe our uh, subscribe our Telegram channel. You can find the link of all the channels that is Instagram as well as Telegram channel in the description box. And for free study material, also you can click on the link given in the description box. And you, there you can download the free study material for design and architecture entrance exam. So let us start discussing coding decoding. Though this topic is not frequently asked, but this is this has been asked sometimes in UC examination, and as this is a part of uh, reasoning, NIFT and NID has possibilities. But uh, when I say it has a re relatively lower possibility when it comes to NID because NID focuses on non-verbal reasoning more. NID focuses more on non-verbal reasoning. And that's why you see NIFT has more weightage for such questions than NID. Right? So let us start with the coding, decoding. What coding and decoding is? So there are three, four ways to, uh, there are three or four varieties for such, uh, for this, in this topic. Number one, numbers, when alphabets have been converted into numbers, right? Say, Sam. So, Sam has been re rewritten as this is nothing but equivalent uh, numeric value of each alphabet, right? So, alpha numerics uh, coding decoding when now variety one is numbers when alphabets are written in the form of numbers. So, the very first variety is this one. Then there is second variety that is alphabets only. That is alphabets replaced by alphabets following certain pattern. Then there is coded language variety. Coded language. So this is the one that has been asked in UC in the past, coded language, where you have certain words that have been written in uh, replay, written or coded as other words, right? So these are the three varieties that majorly we are going to discuss today. Other than these, there are few more that we will be seeing with questions. So let us start with the very first question. In a certain code, Certain is coded as X, V, I, G, Z, R, M. <laughs> Sequence is coded as H, V, J, F, M, X, V. How would required be coded? Right. So see here. C, E, R, T, A, I, and N. So this is one. 1. How many alphabets are there? Let's count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So here also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have equal, equal number of alphabets. So we need to determine or we need to find what is the pattern. This is alphabets to alphabet coded language or uh, coding. Right. So C here. C is third position when you move from left to right, X is at 3, from right to left, right, E is 5, left to right, V is 5, right to left, R is 18, 
left to right, i is 18, right to left, right? So for such questions, uh, I would recommend you to write in such manner. Go from A to M, then come back N to Z. This is right, first from right, first from left, and this is how we can easily solve questions like this, right? So, this is what you should think of. Okay, so now let's try to identify C, C here, C, X, E, V, I, R, R, I, I, R, R, I, then T, G, A, Z, I, R, and N, M. Okay, so let's crack the code let's identify the exact alphabet required alphabets required so r has to be replaced by i r has to be replaced by i and there is only option that starts with i is option d that's it if you are able to decode this one you can easily mark the option d okay even if it is not there, we can exactly write the entire code for it. F I R R I E V D W I V J F R I V W. So this is how alphabet to alphabet coding can be tracked this is not exactly all patterns will follow such logic but we can uh, also have a logic like a has been replaced by say e so this is, this is plus 4 and then you have to identify whether it is a plus 4 minus 4 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 1 minus 1 alternative plus 2 minus 2 alternative and all such kinds right so that can be decoded only looking at the certain given illustration or given examples right and then only we can decide but there are certain patterns that you should think of quickly because these are the standard patterns from where uh, such coded uh, coded and coding decoding and coded language questions are asked right so sabse pehle aapko inhi sari cheezon ke bare mein sochna chahiye so, pehla ek pattern maine aapko ye bata diya left this is left first this is right first right this is first from right second from right third from right fourth from right fifth from right sixth from right seventh from right and so on so if we write it in exactly two halves this gives us an advantage that we don't have to count on who is in the position. Par. Right. Exactly what we need to do is see, uh, see here, say for example, T. So above T is G. So my replacement letter should be G. Say R. So above R, my letter, replacement letter should be I. Say X. Above X, my replacement letter should be C. Okay. But this you have to write in a manner that N is just below M, O is just below L, and then you can follow the pattern, right? Let's quickly move to next question. If reason is coded as 5, believed is coded as 7, then the government will be coded as. So write reason, R, E, A, S, O N. So we need to determine this is 18, this is 5, this is 1, this is 19, 
this is 15 and this is 14. So this entire has been rewritten as 5. If you count the letters, there are 6 letters and it has been coded as 5. That alternative should also be there. So 6 letters. letters coded as 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 has been coded as 7 so this could also be the logic instead of their equivalent position position numbers so let's count alphabets 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so answer should be 9 answer should be 9 so why we have not coded we have not tried using this one because you have single letter right though there are certain possibilities that if you add all these numbers and convert them into a single letter there could be 5 so let's check it 819 10 so this is 1 1 and 9 10 so 10 can be replaced by 1, 1 plus 5, 6, 1 plus 4, 5. So now let's add it. 9, 9 plus 5, 14 plus 2, 16 plus 6, 22 plus 5, 27 it is. So if I convert this, this is giving me 9 and that is not matching with 5. So we can discard this one. Okay. So this is how we should think of possibilities. We must be attentive. We must be alert while solving and the more you solve the better you become at such questions let's look uh, let's see the next variety so this was alpha bits to numbers so this was the very first variety that we have discussed alphabets have been coded into numbers now let's see next question if S E A R C H is coded as T F B S D I, count letters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So S E A R T H T F B S D I. This is simple to decode. Plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1 and plus one so p plus one is q we can directly eliminate these two options e plus one is f we can eliminate d as well let's move to next one in a certain code p is hash a is percent c is dollar e is at the rate so how p e a c is written so this is quite simple so P starts with hash. So we can eliminate this C option. Then E. E is at the rate. So we have at the rate. So we have at the rate at second position. Percentage A. A is percentage. So this is third at percentage here. It is not percentage. First, second, third. Percentage it is. Fourth C. C should be. C should be dollar not at the rate so i can eliminate option a as well and answer will be option d in a certain coded language lieutenant is written is written as 1 2 3 2 2 1 2 0 2 1 4 1 1 4 2 0 now let's try to decode now this is alphabets to numbers and this l is 12 this i is 9 this e is 5 this u is 21 this t is 20 this e is 5 this n is 14 a is 1 n is 14 and t is 20 so at the end this 20 is there right at the beginning this 12 is there i i has to be third Three, but it is it is three. Then E. Let's count number of letters. One, 
uh, after this 12 we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 digits right so we have 11 digits and how many alphabets are there uh, ignoring the extremes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so see here this n and this n is repeated so n is 14 n is 14 a is 1 right then e t t is 20 right t is 20 t is 20 u is 21 u is 21 as well this e i so what they have replaced here is e i is third vowel e second vowel and again c here a is first vowel so let's write m should be 13 a first vowel n 14 so 13 1 14 13 1 14 13 1 14 is matching 13 1 14 is matching this is not matching 13 1 14 matching right then g g is 7 g is 7 g is 7 so on that basis i can eliminate this one g is 7th exactly following then o o is 15 but we are not using 15 here we are using 4 here so answer should be option b not a let's see the next one flatter is coded as 722 7238859 mother is coded as 468159 so see m is 13 if i add these two i'll have one o is 15 i add these two i'll have 6 and exactly this is how it has been decoded 20 t is 20 right h is 8 e is 5 and r is 18 so this 18 is replaced 9 this is 5 single digit h 8 and here f 6 plus 1 7 f is 6 but plus 1 so 7 a l l is so this is not happening so we should try something else we should try something else we should try to match up the letters and numbers we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 alphabets 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 numbers so f has to be replaced by 7 r here is 9 r here is 9 so this is how it should go so m a m m o t h so m m is 4 so 4 then a is 3 4 3 4 3 so this is not happening 4 3 matching here matching here matching here after that m m so there should be two fours that is matching here matching here but not matching here then o o should be six so six matching in both numbers then t for t look here you have eight you have eight so for t it should be eight not b answer will be a so this is how we have to be attentive we cannot think of one only possibilities we cannot think of two only possibilities but we have to go by heat and trial and crack it that's why i was suggesting the more you practice the better you become with coding decoding right let's see the third variety coded language in certain code language this three letters means she is brave this means she is always smiling and this means 
is always cheerful. So what is what word is used for smiling? So we need to identify the common part and then we can this gives she is brave. Now try to have ease brave ease. Ease is common with each alphabet, each group of words. That is pi or re nick. Pi or re nick. It means she is always smiling. So I have re nick common, re nick common, and she is common. So from here I can def definitely say re nick. Either it represents she or it represents is. Similarly, it represents is or she. <laughs> and as soon as I see this third line, Ray is always cheerful. So R E represents is. So R E represents is. So this is how we can decode. R E represents is. That means N I K represents she. All right. Then. She is always smiling. Always. We have always common in this third one. And it says SOR. SOR is common here always. So SOR represents always. So PI should represent smiling. And this is what is asked. Smiling is represented by which word? So it has to be. Pi, pi. Next variety. This we have already seen. No, this is slightly different. Pencil is coded as at the rate comma equal to colon and seven. Paper has been coded as. How will you identify cl clip? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So see, fourth letter is C. 1, 2, 3, 4. So C should start with first, second, third, fourth. First, second, third, fourth. It should be equal to not semicolon, but equal to. So it should start with equal to. I can eliminate option A and B. Then L, L is 7. So I have 7 in both C and D. Then I, I will make the difference. I will make the difference and I is semicolon and semicolon is with option D. So my answer will be option So thank you guys. Thank you for uh, staying with us. Uh, uh, do subscribe our channel. Follow us on Instagram and follow our Telegram channel as well. There you can get more content related to all design entrance exams and prepare well for your exams. So thank you.